Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And today, I want to teach you guys a couple of cool ways to isolate geometry based on color. Um, in this case, we're going to use red and black, for example. So, we'll start off with a grid. And let's scatter some points onto this grid. Hit P so that we can pull up the parameters and let's scatter a good amount of points. So one way of isolate, one way of doing it is like um, using a sphere or whatever kind of geometry. Attribute transfer, connect this here and this here. Let's make this a polygon. Let's add a transform and we have a sphere, right? Then we are transferring attributes. We're going to transfer the color and we're going to make this here black and this one right here red. And as you can see, it's transferring the color from here onto here, but too much. So we just want this to be CD for color and we want it to be much less. And you can blend it here if you want. So essentially what we're doing here is transferring color from this onto, onto our grid. And this can be literally any material that you want. Um, so we have the red color. Let's hit D here. Let's come to geometry and increase the point scale. We have, we want to isolate this. So one way of doing it is maybe we wanted to delete those points so we can use a wrangle and do if at cd the r is less than 0.1 remove point and we want to remove zero and add pt num zero meaning this first step point and pt num the point number and it's based on color being less than 0.1 so we change this less than 0.1 meaning that it's um looking for the color value so if we change this to the opposite it would delete the opposite and you would keep this um so this is a uh, one way of doing it uh, then there's multiple other ways maybe what if we do a group expression And we do add cd r is less than 0.1 and we need to tell it to run it over points see we get the same result um it's cool to do it with points because with points uh, i mean with groups because you don't delete and sometimes it's much more efficient to do it this way now what are certain other reasons why you would want to do this like this works with anything you can use an attribute bob you can connect the points in here and you can use a turbulent noise and we're just going to add some turbulence onto the color so that we can break up the the thing and we're going to do uh pop options and create input parameters that way we can control this outside So with this, it'll work the same way because we're just using black and white values. See that? Or even with this one, you can connect it here and you will get, you will be able to isolate the geometry like that. Um, this right here is very useful because for example, if you were to animate the offset, and hit play this uh starts to create some very interesting uh source uh, sources for like say particle for like emitting particles or creating sandstorms or Or creating an interesting 
like emission source. Right, so so you could like, for example, use this to emit particles and um, you will get much more variation when the particles emit, like much more random. Um, or other things that are useful of isolating this is for example, when you're copy stamping geometry onto this, like say for example, flowers growing, or if you wanted the P scale to be a different scale in certain areas, not on others like you could do this based on this like or or like with this and subtracting it like that so you would have both and you can give them both different uh p scale values um there's multiple different reasons why you would want to you would want to do something like this like honestly like if you were to do if you if we were talking about p scale you would do it a little bit different you would just do a i'm not gonna go into it but you would do at p scale is equal to fit zero one or whatever and at rent and rand at pt num between whatever value you're gonna fit it and then you could multiply it by at cd.r and this will give you different p scale values but we can go in depth on this in the future um but yeah this is this is a a way for you to have control over um isolating geometry all right guys i hope you guys you guys liked it and we'll be back with more